Hello everyone and welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video we are going to learn how to crochet a shrug and it is going to be made by crocheting a grind square. Uh, this shrug is going to be made uh, for a 5-6 year old and I'm going to be using the Red Heart Baby yarns and I'm going to be crocheting with a 4mm crochet hook. A few things that we need to know in order to make this shrug is the only uh, measurements that we need to take is from where we want the shrug to start and where we want it to end in our hands. So let's say you want you want it to start uh, from the elbow. So you, you're going to open your hands and measure from elbow to elbow and see how many centimeters that is. So you're going to make your square as big as, as your um, centimeters were from elbow to elbow. So my daughter, my daughter's measure measurements are 70 centimeters from elbow to elbow. So my square is going to be 70 centimeters. So what we need to have in mind is that as big it is in the, in the width, the same length, uh, we're going to have the same length in our square. So if it is 70 centimeters from elbow to elbow, that means from top to bottom is going to be 70 centimeters also. That's why your um, shrug comes to be as big as a jacket. So if you want it to be from your wrist to the other wrist, you're going to measure, um, you're going to open your hands and going to measure from one side to the other and see how many centimeters that is. So you're going to make your square um, that big. So that's why at the end it um, it's as big as as a jacket. So um, we're gonna start from the middle and we're gonna work. At, uh, we're gonna be working in a square because we're gonna be making the grind square. And at the end we are going to join by making a grind joint. And it's going to be. Um, it really is gonna be an invisible joint because it's going to seem as if it's um, continuous because the the join is going to be a granny join so it's not going to you're not going to be able to someone is not going to be able to tell where the jacket has been joined so we are going to start with our magic circle and as I said before I'm going to be crocheting with a four millimeter crochet hook So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my two fingers once and I'm going to bring the yarn on the top left. I'm going to put my hook under the right yarn over the left one and I'm going to pull it under. Turn my hook around once and I'm going to grab the left yarn and pull it through the loop. So this is my first chain. This counts as uh, one chain. What we're going to do now is I'm going to make two more chains in order to have my first double crochet because three chains count as a double crochet. And I'm going to make two more double crochet. We're going to make sets of three and then we're going to make two, two chains uh, three double crochet, two chains, and we're going to do that four times. So we're going to have the four sides of our square. So I'm going to be making two more chains. Two and three and I'm gonna make two more double crochet in the center of my magic circle two and three chain two and this chain two is going to be our corner 
for the square. So we're going to chain two, one and two, and three more double crochet in the center of our magic circle. One, two, and three. Now we're going to chain two, one, and two, and this is the corner of the square, and three more double crochet in the center of my magic circle. Two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet. One, two, three. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close the magic circle. So I'm going to pull the yarn that I started the magic circle with up until the first double crochet touches the last one. And this is how it looks so far. So now I'm going to chain one, so unlike the other three sides, I'm in this, in this corner I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make a single crochet from the first uh, double crochet for this row. Uh, so this single crochet is going to give me the distance that I needed for the second chain in order to create the um, corner plus the the um, the length moving upwards for the first chain out of the three that I want to create the first double crochet for the next row. So I'm going to make two more chains. So this counts as my first double crochet and I'm going to make two more double crochet in this space right over here. And that counts as my first half corner. And when I come around, I'm going to finish off by making again chain one in a single crochet in the same space. <clears throat> so we're going to work two more double crochet in this space over here. So two and three. I am going to chain one. Every time that we complete a set of three double crochet, we're going to be making a chain one. The only difference is when we are in the corners where we're going to be working three double crochet, two chains, and three double crochet in the same chain two space as we're going to work uh, now. So in the chain two space, we are always going to be working three double crochet, two chains, and three double crochet to keep the corner up until we finish our work. So one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet in the same two in the same chain two space. One, two, three. So we're going to chain one and make. Um, three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet in the corner because we want to always keep our corners. So in the chain two space, we are always going to be making three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, and three more in the same chain two space. 
one, two, and three. Chain one, and now in our corner in the chain two space, we're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochet in the same chain two space. Chain one, and now we are going to finish this row by making three more double crochet in the space where we started at. One, two, three, and we are always going to be finishing our row by uh, making a chain one and a single crochet from our first double crochet for this row. So chain one and make a single crochet in your first double crochet. The first double crochet is the chain two. So in the second chain, put your hook and make a single crochet. And as we said in the previous um, row, that, that single crochet gives us the space that we want instead of making the chain two. So it gives us the space for the extra chain. Plus it gives us the, the extra chain as we move upwards in the next row so instead of making three chains to start with, we're going to be making single crochet and chain two. So two chains to start our third row, and we're going to work two double crochet in the same space right here. We're going to work two more double crochet, and this is by starting with half of our corner. So two and three, chain one, chain one, and in the chain one space, and now the chain one that we're working every, after every set of three double crochet, on every chain one, we are going to be working a set of three double crochet. So in this chain one space, we're gonna work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one. So after every set, we're always gonna be chaining one. And in this chain two space, we're gonna be working three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, and three more double crochet in the same space. One, two, and three. Chain one, make a, three, a set of three double crochet in the chain one space. One, two, three, chain one, and in the chain two space, we're going to be working three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one. We're gonna work a set of three double crochet in the chain one space. One, two, three, chain one. 
you need chain two space we're going to work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet because we're we want to keep our corners up until we finish our square one two three chain two one two three double crochet in the same chain two space chain one make a set of three double crochet in the chain one space one two three chain one and we've come to the end uh, once more so we're gonna make three double crochet in this last space where we started our um, first three double crochet yet so one two three double crochet chain one and make a single crochet in the chain in your first um, double crochet but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change color also so we're gonna see how to um, change the color too so I'm gonna we're gonna put our hook in the second chain and I'm gonna grab the yarn and pull it through the stitch and I have my two loops left so if I would grab the yarn and pull the uh, and pull it through the two loops I would create my single crochet but instead of doing it with my pink yarn I'm gonna grab my um, other color and I'm gonna finish the single crochet with my new color so um, so I'm going to finish the single crochet with a new color and I'm going to make my two chains with my new yarn. So chain two, one, two, and keep crocheting the same way as we were doing so far. So we are going to work two double crochet in this same space over here. So we're going to make two more double crochet so we so in order to start with our three double crochet one two plus the two chains in the single crochet in the beginning we have a total of three chain one make a set of three double crochet in the next chain one space so in every chain one space we are always going to be working a set of three double crochet so we see how in every row we are um, increasing by one set of three double crochet so in the first row we had one set in the second row we have two sets and in the third row we have three sets of three double crochet so every row we are increasing by one set of three double crochet and we are always going to be uh, making a set of three double crochet in the chain one space so in the chain one space make a set of three double crochet one two and three chain one in the next chain one space make three double crochet one two three chain one and now we have come to the corner where we're going to make three double crochet chain two and three double crochet one two three chain two and three more double crochet in the same chain two space one two and three so this is how our corner looks like chain one make three double crochet in the next chain one space one two 
three, chain one, one, two, three in the chain one space, chain one, and in the chain two space, we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet again. One, two, three, chain two, and three double crochet in the same chain two space. One, two, three, chain one, make a set of three double crochet in the next chain one space. one, two, and three, chain one, three double crochet in this chain one space, one, two, and three, chain one, we're going to make three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in the chain two space, one, two, three, chain two, and one, two, three in the same chain two space, chain one, make three double crochet in the next chain one space, one, two, three, chain one, make three double crochet in the chain one space, one, two, three, chain one, and we're going to finish our row by making three double crochet in the last chain one space and where we're going to create the chain one and the single crochet to create our last corner. So one, two, and three, chain one, and we're going to put our hook in the second chain to make the single crochet. So grab the yarn and pull through the stitch and I'm going to change my color again, so I'm going to just pull through and I'm going to pull through the last two loops with my uh, pink color again so just pick up your color because it's, it's the difference is only one row so just pick up your color and pull it through the last two loops you don't have to cut and um, you don't have to cut your yarn if you are changing colors every row so if the difference is only one row or even two, you don't have to cut. You just pick up the, the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. And that'll save us from a lot of weaving in the ends. So pull up the pink yarn and pull it through the last two loops. Chain two one, two, and make two more double crochet in the chain, in the chain one space, right over here. Two, and three. So we have our first three double crochet, chain one, make three double crochet in the chain one space, one, two, three, 
chain one one two three in this next chain one space chain one three more double crochet in the next chain one space one two three chain one and we're gonna work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet in our chain two space one two and three chain two three more double crochet in the same chain two space one two and three chain one make a set of three double crochet in the next chain one space one two and three chain one three more double crochet in this chain one space one two three chain one three more double crochet in the chain one space one two three chain one and make three double crochet chain two and three double crochet in the chain two space one two three chain two three more double crochet in the same chain two space one two and three chain one make a set of three double crochet in the next chain one space one two three chain one make three more double crochet in the next chain one space one two three chain one three more double crochet in the next chain one space one two and three chain one in the next chain two space we're going to work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet again one two and three chain two three more double crochet in the same chain two space one two and three chain one make a set of three double crochet in the same in the next chain one space one two three chain one three double crochet in the next chain one space one two three chain one three double crochet in the next chain one space one two three chain one and make the last three double crochet in the chain one space one two three chain one and make a single crochet in the second chain from which is your first double crochet for this row and make a single crochet so 
So this is how our square looks like so far. So in every row, if you put your fingers in a chain 2 space, you are going to see that in every row we are increasing by one set of, th of three uh, double crochet. In the first row we have one set, in the second row we have two sets, in the third row we have three sets. See right here? First row one set, second row two sets, third row three sets, fourth row we have four sets, in fifth row we have a total of five sets of three double crochet. So you're going to continue the, in the same exact way up until you finish uh, making your square. So by the measurements uh, that you took uh, from measuring your hands from the one hand to the other, uh, from where you want to start your shrug to where you want it to end. Uh, so you're going to take those centimeters and when your square reaches those centimeters um, that's where you're going to stop and we're going to start joining from the next video so see you guys in the next video